All right, we're now looking at level one. And it says the level goal, the password for the next level is stored in a file called dash, located in the home directory. Gives some commands we may need and some helpful reading. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna SSH into level one. We use the password we previously got. Great. So we'll do an ls of this directory, and we can see there's that dash file that they talked about. Let's go ahead and let's try to use cat to read it out. And we just seem to be stuck. And actually, it seems to be echoing whatever input we have, it spits out. So what this challenge is trying to show you is there are certain characters that have special meanings and the special meanings mean it's a pain in the ass to actually address the file. So as a quick example, when I do ls to indicate a flag, I do a minus and then I put my different flag values and that changes the ls output. So here's ls with no flags and here's ls with a bunch of flags. So essentially what you have is uh, it's it's like the grammatical structure of a sentence, right? You you normally have like a, a noun, a verb, a object, all those things. And now instead of having an actual noun, you say I have a noun, and it turns into the whole old bit of like who's on first. Someone is asking who's on first, but someone else is saying the person who is on first is named who's. Third. That's what I want to find out. I want you to tell me the names of the fellas on the St. Louis I'm, team. I'm telling you, who's on first, what's on second, I don't know who's on third. You know the fellas' then, names? Yes. Well, then who's playing first? Yes. I mean the fellas name on first base. Who? The fella playing first base for St. Louis. Who? So the problem is with all these things, like less, if we try to do less and look at minus, again, it thinks this is some kind of flag or something, and it gives us this bizarre scenario where you can't even get out short of doing a control Z to put it in the background. So what we need to do is we need to make it unambiguous that what we're doing is we're actually trying to get at a file, this name dash. We're not trying to give it standard input or trying to give it flags or something like that. And there are two ways that I know that we can do this. The first is we could do a cat and we could specify that we want to be in this current directory. So the dot means current directory. You can see it listed right here. It's a directory and it's the current one we're in. Oops, that, that didn't like that when I did that, sorry. So the current directory we're in, we want the file named dash. Oops, meant to do a cat. We'll do a cat instead of an ls. And we get out the password for the next level. Alternatively, you can also feed things into commands. So what you can imagine, this is a pipe is an overused term in Linux. This is not really a pipe, but you can imagine this as being like a way of channeling information into the cat command. In this case, we're gonna channel dash into it and we get the same result. Let's go ahead, let's record this guy, and we will move on to level two.